In today's machine learning class, we will see a problem from a simple linear regression from fourth unit supervised learning. Here, we try to solve a very simple problem by using this ordinary least squares algorithm, that is OLS algorithm, and then we will see what is residual errors in the given data set, right? And this is the problem statement. A college professor believes that the grade of internal examination is high, then the grade of external examination will also be high. For that, uh, he selected 15 sample uh, students in that class and the data was given below. Okay, So this is internal examination score and the corresponding students ex external examination score is also given here. So with this data, we try to predict the other student uh, external examination score. And now we try to predict the relationship between internal examination mark and external examination mark. Okay. For that, uh, we just try to plot the scatter plot. Here, the x-axis is internal exam mark and y-axis is external exam mark. Okay. This is internal exam mark and this is external exam mark. Right. In this graph, the regression line, okay, that is this line. This regression line is not predict the data exactly okay that means all the data points does not lies on the regression line itself some points are lower than the regression line and some points are higher than the regression line okay here these variations are called as errors okay that means error is nothing but that is the residual error is nothing but the distance between the predicted point and the actual point okay here our predicted point is the regression line these points okay this is our predicted point but the actual point is lies here and the distance between these two point is called as residual error which is represented by the e e is nothing but the residual error Our aim is to minimize the error, isn't it? So for that, we can use this OLS algorithm that is ordinary least square algorithm. Okay, this algorithm used to estimate the regression line. So estimate the regression line and this will minimize the error. Okay, that means maximum data points lies on the regression line, but some of the data points lies below the line and some may lies above the line. And the difference between this point and this point is called as error, residual error. Okay. Now, we need to compute the SSE, that is the sum of square of errors, which is equal to sum of i, e i square. Okay. E means error, error of one data point. In our previous class, we have seen that is y equal to a plus bx. <coughs> Okay, y is y-axis value and that, that is external exam value and x is the x-axis value that is internal exam value. Now we need to compute a and b value, isn't it? So b is nothing but slope and a is y-intercept. So these are the things we have seen the last class itself, right? Now we need to compute the b value. b is nothing but slope. What's the formula for uh, uh, the b? The sum of xi minus x bar into yi minus y bar divided by sum of xi minus y bar whole square. That is the covariant of x comma y divided by variant of x. So this is uh, the formula for b. Now we need to find a value. Okay, a is nothing but uh, y bar minus b x bar. y bar minus b x bar is a value. Here uh, the x bar is nothing but the mean of x value and y bar is nothing but the mean of all y values, right? Um, let us try to solve this problem by using OLS algorithm that is least ordinary least square algorithm that is OLS algorithm, right? Uh, step 1, calculate the mean of x and y. Here our x value is internal exam score. And y value is external exam score, right? And step 2 is calculate errors of x and y. And step 3, get the product. Okay, product value. And 4 is 
get the summation of the product. Okay, all the summations, all the product will be summed here. And the next step is square the difference of x. Okay, and get the sum of squared difference and divide the output of step 4, this one. Okay, that is summation of product by step 6. That is summation of difference square. Okay, and calculate the B value and calculate A by using B. And now we try to apply this OLS algorithm for solving our problem. Okay, so here these are the given data internal exam mark and external exam mark. Now we need to uh, tabulate those values uh, with the required uh, formula. Okay, the first one is calculate the mean of x and y. Okay, so now we need to sum all the x values and the x values divided by 15. 15 is the total number of records in the training data set. Okay, so the uh, x bar is 19.9 and y bar is 56.8. Okay. The mean of x is x bar and mean of y is y bar. And step 2, calculate the errors of x and y. So, what is the error uh, calculation? x minus x bar is uh, error uh, for x and y minus y bar. Okay, likewise. So, we find the x minus x bar value and y minus y bar value. Okay, for example, let us take this 15 is x value. 15 minus 19.9 equal to minus 4.03. This is x minus x bar. Okay. Likewise here, y value is 46. 46 minus 56.8 is minus 7.8. Okay. This is y value. Likewise, we try to uh, compute all the records here. And step 3, get the product. Okay. So, step 3 is get the product x minus x bar into y minus y bar. Right? So, this is step 3. So, we need to multiply these two values. Then we will get 58.454. Right? So, likewise we compute uh, for all the records and this is step 3. And next is step 4 is get the summation of the product. So, the sum of all those values is 429.8 okay this is summation of all the products and step 5 square the difference of error so already we have computed x minus x bar here now we squared this value then we will get x i minus x bar whole square x i minus x bar whole square that is minus 4.03 is equal to uh, this value 24.8 3, 0 likewise. Okay. And this is step 5. And step 6 is get the sum of square difference. So, this is sum of square difference. All the values will be summed here. This is step 6. And step 7, divide the output of step 4 and step 6 to calculate B value. Okay. This is step 7. The value of this one that is uh, 429.28 divided by this value. Okay. This value. So, the, the result is 1.89. B equal to 1.89 we get. And now we need to compute A value. Okay. By using B value. Isn't it? So, this is the formula. A equal to Y bar minus B X bar. Okay. Already we have Y bar value is here. Y bar value minus B into B value is already here and X bar value is here. Right. So, this is uh, A equal to 19.59. Okay. Now, Y equal to A plus B X. Isn't it? So, A is 19.05 plus B value 1.89 X capital X. One point. So, this is the result of our problem. Right? So, that we can reduce the errors in our problem. The expected y value which is equal to 
b into x value plus a value, isn't it? So the x null exam mark mark x null which is equal to 19.4 plus 18 1.89 into internal mark. So this is our result of our problem. And now let us try to figure out those x value and y value in the graph. So as per our computation, 19.5 is a value. Okay, that is y intercept. But as per our uh, uh, data given in the internal examination, there is no internal examination mark is zero. Okay, no internal exam mark is zero. That means some portion that is 19.5 portion is not covered in the internal examination mark, but they are uh, covered in external examination mark. Okay. And now the B value, B value that is slope is 1.89. 1.89 means if the internal examination mark increased by 1, then the external exam mark will increase by 1.89. Okay, that means the average value of Y as the result of one unit change in the X value. Okay, if F, X is increased by 1, then y is increased by 1.89, 1.89. So far we have solved one very simple problem in the simple linear regression by using the ordinary least square algorithm by reducing the residual errors, isn't it? So in the next class we will see another important topic from fourth unit. Thank you.